Hi guys, Lindsay from the Glasgow Football Tour here. This is Football Mates Glasgow and I'm here today to talk to you about Scotch Professor Rose Riley. Rose was born on the 2nd of January 1955 in Kilmarnock and was raised in Stewarton in Ayrshire. Rose was obsessed with football. At three years old, she once wandered away from home and her mother found her next to the local football pitch. She also received a doll from Santa Claus one year and went outside immediately and traded it for a football. That football she kept by her side, slept with it in bed so her brothers and sisters wouldn't steal it. She on one occasion, Rose scored eight goals for the local side. There was a Celtic scout on the sideline who wanted to sign the wee number seven. That wee number seven, the coach replied, is a wee lassie and you can't sign her. Elsie Cook, a pioneer in her own right, had set up a meeting at the Daily Record with Stan Shivers. The Daily Record was sponsoring a trip to France for a trial game at Stade de Rennes, a team managed by sports writer Pierre Joffrey. Now they got one, uh, they both went to get sent to France to play for Rem. Um, they went for a trial game, to which Eddie Ellis replied, I don't do trials, son. But they went in any case and were signed by Rem at half time. Rose was there in France for six months before being scouted by AC at Milan. She moved to Italy and the world was her oyster. Rose was officially banned, sin died by the Scottish Football Association for turning professional in Italy in 1974. As such, she was invited to play for the Azzurri, the Italian women's national team. In 1984, Rose captained the side who would win the Mundialito, the precursor of the first ever Women's World Cup. She captained the side, she scored in the final against West Germany, which they won 3-1.